Hello everybody from Plant Reviews today, uh, Sunday the 6th of December 2020 and I'm talking today about uh, uh, Nerine Baudeni. Uh, Nerine Baudeni, it's a beautiful species of uh, Nerine in the family Amarillidase, even if uh, the common name uh, is uh, Gersnei lily, uh, even if uh, this plant is not uh, uh, at all a lily, uh, it vaguely resembles a lily for the shape of the flower and uh, it doesn't come from Gersney uh, either, uh, but comes from South Africa. This plant is uh, a plant that uh, is a bulbous plant and it is about, uh, the leaves tend to be about 45 centimeters tall, sometimes up to 60 centimeters tall and they are, as you can see, strap shaped of a beautiful green and um, uh, the plant uh, can uh, bloom uh, in uh, uh, usually late in, in late, can bloom in late summer, but uh, more usually this plant blooms uh, in uh, autumn. Uh, even if uh, it's very unusual that blooms in December. However, uh, in my garden, only one plant this year is flowered, and indeed this one and this flower in December. The other. My other Nerine, as you can see, are uh, very uh, much in leaf at the moment, but uh, no uh, flowers or flower stems yet. The plant is uh, a, um, a plant that uh, produces, as you can see, um, umbels of flower that uh, can uh, be uh, up to uh, six, uh, uh, sorry, six to eight flowers, usually. And the color is of this incredible bright pink, really gorgeous. Uh, the flowers are also uh, slightly fragrant, but this is definitely not a plant I can recommend you for if you are really looking for a fragrant uh, plant uh, in your garden, uh, but I definitely can recommend you because of the color of the flowers and because of the season of the flower, you don't find many uh, plant blooming in uh, in autumn, in particular in late autumn. The most of the Nerine I found here in Kent, they bloom between late October and mid-November. It is a quite an unusual season for plants to bloom and I'm really really glad that this plant is that decided to bloom in December and as you can see is the basically the only plant in bloom in the garden other than uh, some uh, cyclamens I have in uh, this pot and uh, some other cyclamens around the garden but yeah definitely the color is absolutely stunning as well as the size of the flowers they are about uh, I would say 8 to 10 centimeters in diameter the plant in addition to be known as Gersney lily is also known as Bowden lily Cornish lily or Cape flower and actually Cape flower is probably the name that most closely uh, relates to the origin and the uh, uh, and the true uh, uh, well, classification of the plant because it's still a flower <laughs> and comes uh, actually one of the areas where this plant is from is the Cape region from South Africa. Uh, as I said, it uh, doesn't come from Gersen Island, neither for Cornwall, uh, but originates in South Africa and in particular from the areas of the Eastern Cape, the KwaZulu Natal, the Free State and the Drakensberg Mountains. Uh, the species was named after Atelstan Cornish Bowden, uh, who uh, also sent the bulbs of the plant from South Africa to England and this might be the reason because this plant is known as a Cornish lily because of Atherston Cornish Bowden as well as obviously Bowden lily uh, due to the surname of uh, this person um, as well as of the scientific name Nerine Baudeni. Uh, there is a few there are a few species or of Nerine in the yeah, in the genus Nerine. Uh, one that is also called the Gersney lily is a plant that uh, blooms in beautifully uh, bright red flowers, Nerine sarniensis. However, Nerine Baudeni of all the Nerines is probably uh, the most uh, hardy, uh, the hardiest in uh, in the U in the UK, and uh, uh, so far this is the only plant I have in my garden. I have a pot 
av uh, när inne Ostara det is a hybrid uh, in uh, my allotment uh, however uh, this this is the first year that uh, I cultivated it so I'm not too sure if this plant will be able to uh, survive the winter however the this Nerina baudeni this as well as my other bulbs in this part of the garden I've been cultivating it uh, outside in the past three years and they survived every winter so uh, in my condition here in Kent uh, are perfectly fine and hardy uh, the bulbs of uh, Nerina baudeni are about 12-14 cm in circumference and they are usually sold in the uh, spring uh, season uh, bulb sale so between the late winter and uh, mid spring together with dahlias and lilies uh, the bulbs of Nerines unlike many other bulbs need to be planted quite shallowly in on the in the ground you can see the tip of the bulb uh, needs to be uh, out of the ground this is the tip of the bulb so you can plant the bulb basically about five six centimeters deep with the, the top part of the bulb uh, just out of the ground it will be perfectly fine uh, even in winter in sheltered uh, positions most important is to plant this um, uh, the nerine in very well drained soil and in full sun uh, my uh, this part of the garden is in a partial shade and this is the reason because i think this uh, my nerines bloom does don't bloom well last year uh, three nerines actually bloomed but this year only one uh, this summer most of the nerines have been quite uh, cover quite a lot by uh, the roses nearby as well as uh, some climbers so didn't receive really as much sun as they should have done so definitely I'm really glad that we have at least one plant blooming uh, but definitely uh, to uh, I can see difference uh, uh, from last year where I had uh, three plants blooming and definitely for this plant I really would recommend uh, absolutely full sun and well drained soil uh, on the other hand this plant is quite resistant to drought in my uh, experience however obviously if you um, have the chance to keep the um, ground moist during the uh, growing season of the plant is uh, definitely better and will help a lot with the blooming in uh, in autumn uh, the plant is uh, uh, as i said can handle partial shade but definitely will bloom better in full sun uh, the flower um, as i said uh, the plant blooms in uh, autumn uh, here in kent uh, usually uh, between October and November but as you can see today uh, this plant is blooming now in December and actually uh, started blooming not many days ago indeed you can see I have still uh, four buds to uh, still to uh, open uh, the pink on this flower is really really bright uh, almost uh, glowing pink and uh, looking uh, better the uh, petals and sepals uh, you can see that uh, there is a, a paler pink outside with a more intense pink like with a, a, an inner stripe with a pink more intense and also the stamens and the stigma are uh, really really pink except obviously for the pollen at the tip of the anthers but when even the anthers when they are not uh, open um, when the, uh, the pollen is still enclosed in the anthers are pink so you can see how incredibly uh, incredibly color and how uh, gorgeously intense is the pink of the flower on this plant uh, really if you are looking for something uh, colorful to add some color in your garden in late autumn mid to late autumn definitely Nerida baudeni is the plant for you about the hardiness of this plant as I said here in Kent I cultivated it uh, for three years without any problems outside uh, I read that this plant uh, can be hardy down to uh, minus 15 uh, degrees Celsius that are about five degrees Fahrenheit however it's very important to keep the plant in well-drained soil otherwise uh, the bulbs might rot and 
full sun and ideally a shelter position like a wall in my case the plants grow quite close to uh, a fence so they are still in a quite sheltered uh, position uh, some other people recommend to mulch the bulbs I really never done in the past three years never had any problems but uh, if you live in other parts of the UK or other countries that during winter tend to experience quite a lot of rainfall and uh, also uh, snowfall uh, it would be a good idea to mulch the bulbs or in case to bring the bulbs uh, back uh, to have for example a pot of bulbs or lift the bulbs uh, after blooming and bring them uh, in a frost free place uh, one uh, particular um, thing about this flower about the Nerina bodeni is that actually it uh, very rarely the plant blooms straight after you at the same year you plant the bulbs uh, it really needs some time to recover uh, so usually start blue starts blooming uh, at the second year and uh, uh, afterwards as well uh, it really it really worth the waiting you can see the beauty of the flowers uh, but uh, um, this is a plant also that unlike uh, other bulbous plants that like to be divided like daffodils uh, for example tend to spread around and produce lots of uh, offsets uh, this plant really is better if you keep it undisturbed as uh, much as possible because uh, it actually blooms better if it's undis uh, it undis left undisturbed and uh, uh, when created uh, big clumps uh, obviously at some point if the plant clump, clump becomes too big and overcrowded you have to di divide it but I would not recommend to divide this plant uh, every uh, year or every two years uh, wait at least about five six years because um, I don't have not been cultivated this plant that long but I've read that really uh, this plant do better in uh, quite crowded conditions and uh, um, uh, I've seen uh, clumps of Nerina baudeni absolutely crowded in uh, some gardens here in Kent where you basically see only where the bulbs cover literally the ground you can't see the ground you just see the tip of the bulbs on the surface of the ground and they bloom spectacularly so this is really a plant that uh, you can plant and lift it, leave it undisturbed uh, without bothering to lift the bulbs out of the ground uh, unless you live in a very cold place and uh, this uh, plant has also uh, gained the um, Royal Horticultural Society Award of Garden Merit due to the um, easiness due to the fact that it's very easy to cultivate and uh, it is quite hardy in the UK definitely the hardiest species of Nerina and obviously for the gorgeous blooming uh, it is a pity the plant is not uh, is just slightly fragrant it's not very fragrant uh, but uh, as you can see I think the color of this plant really uh, says it all it is a absolutely wonderful addition to any garden uh, both for the color and the uh, shape of the flowers but also because of the fact there are not there is not many plants blooming in October November or as in my case December I hope you enjoy the video thank you very much for watching uh, if you would like to leave any comment uh, would be great I will try to respond to you as soon as possible and uh, if you'd like to support my channel it would be great if you can please uh, like the video and uh, please subscribe as well and hopefully I will see you again on my channel thank you very much and I will see you next time bye